This is a very quick tour of the new um, CCU controller um, that's available shortly. It uh, can control four cameras uh, and it's for the ATM CCU controllers. It connects via a uh, network connector on the rear and uh, can be powered by either uh, 6 volts to 14 volts DC on the connector or just plugging in a USB cable. Uh, there'll be later on there'll be additions where there'll be an RS232 and RS422 ports on the back for controlling other devices. Um, currently these units are being made uh, on a 3D printer but the, um, um, they will be made um, on a injection molded plastic um, manufacturer. This is the um, empty, empty cases that they come in, that's all just done on the 3D printer and the circuit boards are all um, ma professionally manufactured. Um, the actual panel itself, let me just get a bit of focus here, maybe that'll work. Um, it has um, four lots of uh, knobs for the four cameras. Um, there's a pedestal uh, for one, two, three and four. Uh, these are iris, we call them coarse iris. Uh, and then there's fine iris, which is on a fader. They give you about um, or probably two f-stop control, but they're all um, they're all configurable. You can um, adjust, have separate um, course um, sensitivities for the um, iris course and um, sensitivity for the fine. Um, the uh, surrounded around the uh, the fine. Iris controls. There's a uh, a clear plastic, and what this clear plastic does is it actually sh um, shows different colours depending on the state of each one of the four camera um, uh, CCU positions, uh, and they also show you the tally from the ATM uh, switcher in both the program and the preview. So, if any one of your four cameras are on uh, on air, they'll be red. If any of them are on preview, they'll be green. If you have uh, whatever camera you have selected to control, um, it will be blue. And then, of course, uh, the combinations of the reds and the blues or the reds and the greens, if the camera's on air and being previewed or um, um, or just, just being adjusted off air. Um, all the cameras have in common a... Um, uh, what we call the menu section. On this menu section we have uh, dedicated controls for red, green and blue which we all control the gamma's blacks and gains uh, plus it has uh, other ancillary functions. Uh, this is the menu knob in some cases that also uh, controls the Y or the luminance uh, where the RGB adjustments have the fourth value. Um, uh, the, in the centre of there's a display that is a 16 by 2 display which shows you the statuses of all the different um, menus that you will be in also shows you the functions of each of these four what we call soft buttons so there's four soft buttons on on here um, that uh, will control different things depending on which menu setting you're in and uh, and of course there's a joystick over here the joystick has a um, has a button on it as well which does various functions and um, and basically um, it will control any four cameras that you uh, configure uh, in the in the menu settings in the set set up in the menu settings it also can be controlled through the um, network connector or the USB connector um, so you can actually program uh, it to be any camera on the ATM <clears throat> and subsequently you can program any tally it will respond to on the ATM. Uh, it will uh, work um, with um, both the aux buses for previewing by pushing the button down to preview. Um, there's also um, the pedestals also have buttons that are programmable uh, and in combination with um, selecting the camera and pressing the pedestal it will reset all CCU parameters that will all be shown later on um, the um, I'll just 
can quickly apply a little bit of power to it. Uh, I'm just going to power this off a USB and, um, and when it boots up um, you can see it's um, um, I haven't got I haven't got network cable connected to it at the moment. Um, once it's um, once it's booted up, it will then um, uh, either if the network ca cable is connected, it will um, can start um, control controlling the um, cameras, um, or if there is no network connector, it will go into a setup mode. So we'll just um, we'll just put the network connector in. Start it off again, and um, um, this has actually got a video hub connected to it at the moment, um, so it's actually doing all the um, uploading all the video hub data, and um, um, and there you see it's doing it's doing all the rotation on the um, uh, doing test setups. in um, test configuration at the moment. You can actually um, uh, force it into test modes when you first turn it on just to check all the knobs and faders and uh, and hardwares. These, um, the, the, the CCU, uh, the iris and pedestal knobs um, are uh, rotary encoders as are the, um, the, uh, the RGB and luminance. The um, f fine irises are faders. They're 10-bit, um, I think they are, 10-bit faders, 10-bit data. And, of course, the uh, the joystick X, X and Y is the same. Uh, anyhow, in the next video, I will, first of all, focus. In the next video, I'll show um, the tallies and how the tallies inter interact with the ATM. Um, and then we'll move on to the menu items and, um, and um, other uh, associated operational aspects of it. That's it.